Before you start, I am not a developer. I am not fluent in English, so I use this robotic voice. Don't hesitate to pause the video if it goes so fast that you can't read the text panels quietly. I tried to offer this add-on at the lowest possible price to make it more accessible. Quick presentation of a bot. Parenting, with automatic weights without weights painting after and keeping the same number of vertex group and bones in the end. And with two methods. Two plus bones. One bone. Operations between vertex groups of a mesh object with no bones to stand for them, eBot become in this case a vertex groups mixer tool. Finally, a couple of tools to quickly transfer the vertex groups from two or more object meshes depending on the context. Installation of eBot It all starts with the fact that I didn't like way painting. Or more exactly that I was not good at it. You have a mesh object that you want to animate, and are mature and you do a parenting with automatic weights. You test the result and although the automatic weights of Blender is an excellent tool, the result is not what you expected. You have to adjust it with some manual weight painting or, if like me you don't like it very much, it can be a bit intimidating. You can always add bones to make the parenting with automatic weights more accurate. And the result is much better right away. But here we are, we end up with a lot of bones and our armature doesn't look like a classic armature at all. We can of course hide these bones on a layer of the armature that we make invisible but the mesh object will still have a lot of useful but unmanageable vertex group due to their number which moreover and since they follow scrupulously the movements of a bone should have their weight added to the same bone before disappearing. This is exactly what a bot is designed for. Once the automatic weights painting is done with your additional bow Method 2 plus bones To restore the same number of bones of a classic armature and vertex group of a classic mesh object you can use eBot and its 2 plus bones button located in the eBot tools panel. If your mesh is the only child of your armature, the object mesh will be automatically detected by eBot. You can start selecting the bones. If it is not the case you will have to go to preferences mesh object to design this mesh object. The weights of the selected bones will be added to the last selected. You select this way and all that's left to do is to press the buttons 2 plus bones, with the default setting in the eBot preference panel. Once the activated button returns to its normal state, the selected additional bones have disappeared from the armature and their respective weights have been added to the weight of the active bone in the corresponding vertex group of the mesh object. In short, you get the same deformations as with the additional bones but in a more presentable, convenient and lighter way. A lot of operations in one go. But we can still simplify things because selecting two or three bones is quite easy but things can get complicated with a multitude of bones. For that, you have to prepare your armature and extra bones for the one bone button and its method. Fortunately, nothing very complicated. Method 1 Bone this method consists in creating a bone. Let's call it the one bone. Child of the bone that will receive the weights of the extra bones. Which will be its parent. Which will itself be the parent of all the extra bones that will add their respective weights later created. This one bone will be placed outside the mesh relatively far from it and from the classic armature so that it can be selected easily. It will be the only one to be selected to use the one bone button. Far from the object mesh, it is not necessary for him to deform the mesh, but of course his children must deform the mesh. So we prepare the armature with the one bone and its children the extra bones, and when the time comes, after having done a parenting with automatic weights, you can go back to a correct armature by selecting the one bone and pressing the one bone button. That's it. This method is much more productive than the two plus bones method.
Vertex Group Mixer. Select the Mesh Object and use the Choose Reset button in the Bot Object Chooser panel. The Mesh Object is chosen. Taken into account. Its Vertex Groups appear in the Vertex Groups and Vertex Groups Selection panels. You have to designate the Vertex Group which receives the result of the mix with the Vertex Groups you are going to select. In eBot Preferences, Active Vertex Group appears. It is here that you will choose the Vertex Group which will receive the result of the mix. We just have to choose the Vertex Groups and the selected Vertex Groups are mixed with the Active Vertex Group you have designed, by pressing the VG Operation button. We can also use eBot to work on the Vertex Groups of the Mesh with Armature in order to mix the bones added with Vertex Groups without bones representing them, of the same Mesh object. After having made a parenting with automatic weights of our character, we join the monkey to the character to make a single mesh object of them. And now we have a mesh object with vertex groups not represented by bones. In our mature edit mode, you do, eBot object chooser, choose reset and the vertex groups will appear in the panel of vertex groups and vertex groups selection. We add the vertex groups by selecting them in vertex groups selection this time for example. Now we select the bones for method 2 plus bones for example. If then, we press the 2 plus bones button, the vertex groups selected in addition will have the same treatment as those selected by the bones and will be mixed with that of the receiving bone. Here, the active bone. Good. The bot gadgets. To make your life easier. Two little extra tools. In object mode, a fitted tool panel appears. The first button fit to active. The selected objects will follow the active, last selected, brighter, object armature deformation. Place the mesh objects on the body, this tool works by proximity. Select the mesh objects to be processed and lastly the one that will be the model. A bit like all clothes or items follow the movements of the body they are on. Practical. The vertex group of the model is copied, its armature added. The second button, copy activates VG. Replace vertex groups of selected objects with the active object, last selected, brighter, vertex groups. Same thing as what the blender copy vertex group to selected button already does, but with an easy reach and bot. No proximities needed, however, here, mashing indices, in short an identical mesh. That's it. Thanks for watching.